Hello guys, welcome to our video. Today we're going to discuss about the transformation of the different looping statements. I recall that in the last video, I said that there are three types of looping statements. The first one is the for loop, and we did some examples. The second one is the while. And the third one is the do while looping statement. So today I'm going to present uh, and I'm going to show you how to transform uh, for loop into while and then do while statement. So let me share my screen. And that is about the problem which says that we're going to create a program. Yeah. We're going to create a program that will compute for the average of five ages. Yeah, the ages of five employees of USL. And how we're going to do that? Let's proceed with our online compiler. Um, okay, so I just uh, did some uh, coding already earlier to make this presentation quick. Okay. So in our for loop, we said that we're going to do some you know, declaration of the different variables to be used in our program. So here is the code for our for loop. I already did the declaration of age, total. Uh, this uh, variable is used to accumulate the different ages and that is equivalent and that is initialized to zero. And then we have a counter here. Again, still initialized to zero. Also initialized to zero, I should say. And then another variable called average or AVE for the average. And take note of the parameters of our for loop. We said that the parameters inside the parentheses of our for loop, we have the initialization and then the condition that is less than or equal to five and then incrementation. So whatever is uh, inside this block of the for loop will be executed if and only if the condition is true. Okay, so first we recall that this will be the first step, the initialization. And then the second step will be checking or testing whether uh, the condition is true. So counter is equal to one. Is it less than or equal to five? So that's true. Then we will proceed with step three, which is doing these statements. And then after doing the statement, step three will be step four. And that will be incrementation. So let's check what will be done inside the for loop. So that is going to be enter the age of employee number and then counter. So I use this counter um, to indicate the employee number, employee number one. And you notice that the counter here is equal to one. So whatever will be the value of counter here will also be used here. All right, so enter the age of employee number one, and then we're going to see in the age of employee number one using now the variable age. And then we accumulate this age using the total variable. So total equals total plus age. Total is initially zero plus the age you entered will be stored back to total variable. So if you say, I say entered at the age to be 50, so total will be equivalent to zero plus 50. So the new value of total will be 50. Okay. I created this line 22 to show the value of total every time we do the loop. And then I put here the average inside our loop to compute the average every time we're doing the, you know, the loop of the program. So let's try to run. And then after the loop, I put here the average is, and then the value of AVE at the end of the loop. Okay, so you notice that it's now running. Okay, enter the age of employee number one, let's say 55. So the value of total is 55. And uh, this line is here, line 22, uh, to you know indicate 
the value of total every loop. Next, enter the age of employee number two. So you notice it became number two because our counter is changed. How did it change? Using this incrementation. So after this one, we proceed to the incrementation and, and then go back to step one. So magiging counter equals two. And then it test natin if it is less than or equal to five. So true, you, true, then we will do this again. So let's say 50. Okay. So naging total equals 105 because 50 plus yung inenter natin age previously is 55. So that will be 105. So we proceed. A continue. Age of employee number three, say that will be 56. Then that will become 161, the new value of total. Sa nangyayari yung, ba't nababago tong value ng total? Dito yan sa ating line 22, which is the accumulation. So kung ano yung latest value ng total, ina-add lang natin yung pin-enter natin, age dito. Okay, proceed with the number 4, say 35. So i-compute nyo kung tama ba yung ating accumulation. Then proceed to employee number 5, say 60. Okay, so that will be 256. So, check it test natin kung tama ba. 55 plus 50 plus 56 plus 35 plus 60. That's 256 divided by how many? 5 ages, so 51.2. So, you notice, meron tayong nalagay na, uh, I mean, the answer is 51.2. It's not an integer because we declare uh, the value of the age total encounter and average to be floating point number. So that is just a simple representation of our for loop. Now we proceed with how are we going to transform this for loop into while loop. So ginawa ko na rin to kanina. So you notice, again, the three parameters must be present every looping statement. So what are the three parameters? The initialization and then the testing condition, and then incrementation. So for so while loop naman, ganito mangyari, so while counter is less than or equal to 5, we're going to do this one. So anong gagawin natin? Ganun din. Enter age of employee number 1, and then see in age, and then accumulator. Ito, ito yung accumulator natin. So ginamit ko yung compound operator natin, plus equals age, which is equivalent to uh, yun din, yung parang ginawa natin ganina sa for loop. Total equals total plus h. Okay? So, ito yung equivalent. And then, ito rin. So, counter equals counter plus 1. That is the meaning of this counter plus equals 1. Okay, notice that uh, this is now the incrementation. This is the testing condition. And where is the initialization? Nandito po siya sa declaration part. Okay, uh, from our for loop, Actually, zero ang na, nasa initialization dito. Pero, uh, binago kasi natin yung value niya dito sa ating parameter na naging counter equals 1. So, actually, napalitan na to. Kung ano yung value dito, uh, sabi natin, step by step yan. If line 15 is the first step, declaration, and then during line 17, it changes now the value of counter to be equivalent to 1. So, yun yung ating initialization. Ito na yung ginamit ng value ng counter. So, ganun din dito. Uh, dito kasi sa declaration natin, counter na yung ginamit natin. And then, yun na yung ginamit niyang initial value dito sa counter natin. So, that's it. Okay, the line 24, notice that it is, uh, it is the computation of average. That is equivalent to total divided by counter minus 1. Bakit counter minus 1? Um, again, uh, this will this loop will stop if the counter is no longer less than or equal to 5. Kailan mangyayari yun? Meron tayong incrementation dito. So from counter equals 1 until counter equals 5, gagawin niya pa rin tong loop na to. So yung pang limang ulit na ginawa itong ito, line 19 to 21, Nagkaroon ulit tayo ng incrementation. So, fra, nung 5 na yung value ng counter natin, nag-plus 1 tayo. So, naging 6 yung value ng counter natin. 
And then, if that is already 6, it's no longer less than or equal to 5. That's why it will skip this one already. So, pupunta na siya sa next part of the program, which is the computation of average. And that is equivalent to total divided by counter minus 1. Kasi nga, yung recent or yung latest value ng counter natin ay equal sa 6 minus 1. Kaya naging 5 itong ating divisor. So, ganun din. The average is have. Pag iraro natin, ganun din ang magiging output. Ganun din ang magiging output niya. Uh, inalis ko na dito yung ating uh, displaying of the value of total every loop. Dito kasi, ginawan ko ng eto, line 22. And this line 22, as I've said earlier, is just to show the value of our uh, total every loop. So habang ginagawa natin yung loop, itong portion na to, ano ba yung, ano ba yung value ng total natin? So pinapakita lang na ina-accumulate niya yung mga ages natin. Dito, inalis ko na siya sa, sa ating while. Kaya wala na tayong makikita dito sa output na total equals 55. So, check natin. 55, 50, 56. 50, 56. Ano yung isa? 35, 60. 35, 60. So, it should give us the same average. Okay? 51.2. 51.2 rin dito. So, yan. Ito ngayon yung ating um, transformation from for loop to while loop. Again, the parameters, the initialization nasa taas, the condition is here in the while, and then the incrementation is inside our uh, block, yung body ng ating while loop. So we proceed to the transformation of this while to do while. Okay? Actually, ganun, pareho lang din naman yung process. If you transform for loop to do while or uh, for loop to while or transforming while into do while, pareho lang din. Kasi ang tinitignan lang natin dito guys ay yung, yung mga parameters natin na initialization, testing condition, and then yung incrementation. Present pa silang tatlo. So sa do while, ginawa ko na rin to. Ayan. So, Ayan siya, do, meron naman tayong do, do it while counter is less than or equal to 5. But the difference is we have here a semicolon. May semicolon dito sa while natin to indicate that this is the whole uh, portion. Okay? Do this one while this one is less than or equal to 5. So, pare-pareho lang actually. So, nasan yung three parameters natin? Nandito yung initialization. Nasa loob pa rin yung ating incrementation. And syempre, nasa while pa rin yung ating condition with a semicolon after the while. Do while. So, rearranging lang ng ating mga parameters. Okay? So, if you have any question, feel free to chat it in our mm, chat box. Okay, for your uh, programming activity, I want you to create a program that will compute for the sum of all integers divisible by 3 from 1 to 100. And that is, of course, using uh, for loop and with while and, of course, do while. I just want you to screenshot the code for the for loop, the while, and the do while. And, of course, the output for each program. So there should be a screenshot of output from for loop, another screenshot from while loop, and another screenshot from do while loop. Siyempre yung code. Yung code ng for loop and then yung output niya. Yung code ng while loop and then yung output niya. And yung code ng do while loop, I do while loop, and yung output niya. So there will be three uh, different codes and three different outputs. But expectedly, there should be the same output. Okay. So that will be your activity for today. To be submitted until uh, to be indicated. <laughs> so I hope you learned something. If you, if you have any questions, feel free to chat your instructors. Your instructor. And that's me. See you on the next video.